Why am I on the side of the highway, you might ask? What if I told you I didn't know? My engine just shut off while I was driving. No warning lights, no blinking, flashing, not out of gas, like nothing. So I pulled over, I hadn't even been outside yet. Uh, we're gonna go see what's going on. I'm not very butthurt about this. I'm probably something stupid. I've heard on the Series 60 in the Prevos that the ECU connector can wiggle loose and the engine will just shut off for no reason. Um, I'm thinking it's probably something like that. I'm not stressing. Well, let's go see what it is. Uh, all the stuff is still on. I mean, it's in the run position. Battery terminals are not loose. Obviously the engine battery is still working. So my starter works. Cranks just fine, nice and fast, but nothing happens. Which further leads me to believe that a connector came loose or a fuse pop for the D-Deck system. I'm gonna check that now. There's two breakers in here for the D-Deck system. Right there and right there, see if they're popped. Uh, neither one of them was popped, but I pushed them in and then you know, reset them anyway, just to see, and jiggle the no run, no run upside, just to see and crank it from back here and it still did nothing. So what he said to do is to unscrew those terminals and just bypass the two breakers to see if the breaker failed, if it runs that way. On um, both of the breakers, just kind of ran them to the same stud there, right there, right there. Let's see if it'll work now. Oh, I was like, why it didn't do anything? Then I forgot I turned the battery off. Okay, <laughs> let's try that again. Negatory, that ain't it. Dad? Dad? Does anybody know how to fix one of these things? So, I'm just gonna freaking make some waffles and go to bed. And I'll call the nearest Detroit Diesel Service Center in the morning. See if we can get somebody out here with a scan tool to figure out what the hell is going on. I'm not really too upset about it though. Stuff like this to me is just like a universe intervention. Like last time this happened to me when my truck shut off in the middle of the road is what ended up making me stay in Oklahoma long enough to facilitate the, me staying there for eight months. Like it broke when I was trying to go home. So the universe is saying like, no, you, you're not leaving. You gotta stay here. I don't know why it's doing it this time, but I don't need to know right now. I'll figure it out later. I trust the process. Part of the deal, just riding the wave. Next morning, checking in. I just got the phone with a place called Semi Pros. Uh, they said they're gonna send somebody out here. Generator's running, I got all my stuff in here, so I like, heck, I'll sit down and edit some of my videos, like, I can still be productive even if I'm broken. He doesn't have the right connector for my diagnostic port, so he's gonna run back, get one of those. Fuel pump. Do those die sometimes? They die, yeah. I, it's about all I do these Detroit's. I do you even have the right connector for that diagnostic port? I've got a little port that's for that style that does just a flash code. It's stupid, but what, what, what it do is it flashes a certain code, and then we look it up. So he's gonna run and get a fuel pump. I am going to pull this one off. I knew this day would come. Today is the day. Oh, got some more people stopping. <laughs> I, I've never met you before, but I already got a fuel bump on the way. All right. I appreciate you stopping by, though. No problem. Said you watched it on YouTube, so yep. figured we'll yep. put you in the video, too. Yeah, it's pretty wicked. Nice meeting you. You too. Appreciate it, guys. Take it easy. Thanks Come for on. stopping. Big shout out to Kyle Office's next door neighbor for giving me these, these uh, wet wipes here. They're going to come in handy. Well, now it's raining, and... Conveniently, the water runs down right here. So I'm gonna be really, really wet by the time I'm done with this. I don't have any of the right size wrenches to hold both fittings at the same time. So I had to make it work with these vice grips and you know how that goes. Got those bolts out. Knock the old pumpy boy 
off of the air compressor. I think it's gonna need some good old banging. I gave it some taps with a big old socket and I think it's about to come off. You see a little gap there. Ah, well, something fell out. Here it is. I, uh, I really hope you're the problem because if you're not, I just wasted my time. Oh my God. I got it. Honestly, I thought I'd get a lot dirtier than this doing that. And just gonna wait for him to get the other one and come back, I guess. I really, really hope that's the problem. Because if it's not, uh, well, I just bought a new fuel pump for 300 bucks that I didn't need. Man, he's already back here putting it on. I didn't even know he was here. <laughs> How long have you been here for? About 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> they usually take a while to get primed. I've never tried to take this apart before, but I know that this is an engine access. I'm just gonna start pulling on things and see what happens. There's staples in there, that's nice. Alrighty, so that's not really supposed to be removed easily. Yeah, this is like a weapon of mass destruction right here. Oh, daylight. Will you be able to reach it from in here? Uh, if we can reach it, you'll be able to reach it right here. Oh yeah, I'm looking right at your hand. Yeah. This is gonna be mint. Yeah. All right, let me get the rest of this cover off. All right. Well, it's like several hours later. Uh, the last guy changed the fuel pump, kept spraying ether in there, nothing's happening. He's like, man, it's like I hate to keep throwing stuff at this when I don't really know what it's doing. It'd be like 685 to tow it back to our shop, and even then, nobody will be able to work on it on the weekend. And I'm like, yeah, bro, leave me here. I'll call somebody else. So I put out a post on Facebook, and like a bazillion people messaged me. This guy did. He said, if I can't fix it, I won't charge you anything. So I'm like, all right, dude, just come on out. And he's actually like opening the connectors and stuff to like diagnose the issue properly. What's it doing? I'm pretty sure that uh, we don't have a, a 12 volts with amperage. Yeah, open search door. So man, I'm just gonna run temporary power wire that'll act as our ignition and we'll just see if we can get the same to power up that way so he said he's not getting any voltage at the ecm and he's going to run a wire 12 volt wire to that port just to see to get power to the ecm and see if it fires up and if it does then that was the problem this entire time it's not getting power for some reason which means uh i got knocked for 700 bucks for no reason over that fuel pump, which my other fuel pump was probably fine. So, that is not cool. I'm not sure what to do about that. So he was just digging through the connector to pull it back to strip it and splice in a new wire. And when he went to pull it back, it just broke. Like, it just came off. Because it had already broken the loom, like just forward of the pin in the connector. That was most likely the problem. Um, he's just going to put that back in there, rig a wire up. Uh, huh? uh, let's go ahead and kick that key back on. All right. And I want to check and see where I cut it if I've got power there. If I can basically just run a new section of wire out there. All right. Yeah, he wants to bench test it just off the of 12 volts off the battery just to make sure that's the problem. And if it is, then he's going to run over to engine places or whatever and get another pin to actually fix that wire the correct way and have it be done good forever. We got power up to that point. So you can go ahead and kill it. Okay. Tell you what, he's Johnny on the spot. Like, just comes in here with his backpack, just, do, 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 just, just doing it. Like, I'm glad I made that Facebook post and found this dude. I'll just stay back here so whenever you're ready to give it a whack, I can go back up there easier.
Well, that sounded like it worked. need a fuel pump man that's pretty common that people will uh, misdiagnose ignition or battery power or ground for uh, you know some sort of fuel system issue and lesson learned I'm gonna start carrying uh, multimeter and stuff like that with me so Jeremy's back from the truck parts place they had to like they had to pay the freaking call out fee come back after hours let him in there but they actually got the uh, pins and he got a bunch of them so I can keep some as spares which is awesome and uh, yeah he's back there now redoing that wire and that connector the right way so it's fixed permanently not some rigged up patch just to get me back once he fixes it it's good to go I shouldn't shouldn't have to mess with that particular wire again but that doesn't mean another one couldn't bust which is why I'm gonna keep these and uh, some wire and Multimeter, all that stuff handy with me, so I'm prepared for this in the future. See if it does up here. Yep, all those lights come on like they're supposed to, and they should shut off in a couple seconds here. And there we go. We're in neutral. Liddy. Hey guys, this is Jeremy with JG Diesel Solutions. Mitchell had called me. <clears throat> He's stuck on the side of the road with a Series 60 and a new little coach. Uh, that it was a crank no start. Uh, it appeared that a previous technician had installed a fuel pump in hopes in repairing the issue. Uh, just in a basic power and ground check, found the ignition wire on the vehicle connector at the ECM had loss of power. Install a new terminal and splice in a new ignition power wire. We're good to go. Hey, you fixed that pretty quick. And where can people find you at? Man, we're set up on Facebook, uh, just JG Diesel Solutions. Reach me personally on my cell phone at 918-214-6715. What areas do you service? We advertise that we service all of Oklahoma and uh, the southeastern part of Kansas. But realistically, uh, we'll really go anywhere. Uh, just wherever the customer is comfortable with having us go, we'll go. Yeah, I'd much rather support the a guy going out and doing it on his own than some big company who doesn't really just there just to be there. And yeah. You're out there hustling, I think that's cool. I appreciate that, man. Well, yeah, definitely. Every little bit helps out. Well, I appreciate it. Hey, man, thanks so much. Save my ass. <laughs> Till next time, man. Hopefully yeah. uh, <laughs> it's hopefully, on better terms. Yeah, you know? hopefully not on the side <laughs> of the road. <laughs> yeah, indeed, man.